So the Force 2 is gonna be a simple, full stainless steel single exit system that should appeal to the five liter truck owners out there after that iconic Flowmaster rumble and want just a little bit more volume over the factory system but really don't want the loudest or craziest system out there. The Force 2 will be on the higher side of the price range when comparing your single exit full stainless options at just north of 600 bucks. And for most owners out there, there will be no cutting needed. However, depending on your wheelbase, you might have to trim a little bit off this pipe right here. Nevertheless, I'm still gonna go strong one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, and we will have some more detail on that later on. Now, one thing I do really enjoy about Flowmaster from a company standpoint is the amount of options they give hot rod owners, truck owners, or whatever, when it comes to their overall muffler selection. They have a ton to choose from. In fact, nearly 20 the last time I checked. The Force 2 for your five liter truck is going to incorporate their 70 series muffler, which is one of the tamest in the company's rather expansive lineup. And Flowmaster actually claims that this muffler is the preferred muffler of choice for truck owners due to its quiet operation. And that is pretty evident with the sound clips, right guys? I mean, you heard them, you can ultimately be the judge here, but the Force 2 is a very tame system. Yes, you're still getting that iconic Flowmaster rumble, but it's not nearly as loud as some of their other offerings for the five liter truck, like your Outlaw or even their American Thunder series. And I do really enjoy that because let's face it guys, not everybody is after those extremely loud systems for their five liter trucks daily drivers, family haulers, things like that, you might actually prefer the 70 series because this thing will not drive you or the family crazy on those long road trips. So what does this all mean when it comes time to rate the Force 2 on my tried and true wake the neighbor scale? Well, you can probably guess where I'm going with this one. One essentially being a stock exhaust system to a five all the way down the scale here being an outlaw series, for instance, just an absolute screamer. I have the Force 2 coming in at a strong two out of five on my one to five or one to wake the neighbor scale. Again, you're getting just a little bit more volume over that factory system, which some truck owners might be after. If you're not, if you wanna rattle the windows in your neighborhood, you might wanna look into a different option instead from Flowmaster like the American Thunder or even that Outlaw if you're feeling a little brave. But moving away from the sound, let's talk construction and materials. And as we've come to expect from Flowmaster, a very solid build throughout. I've seen how they build these things, guys. I've been around the facilities and they definitely take pride in their work. Now, the Weld's gonna win any beauty contest at the end of the day. Well, probably not, but they're a hell of a lot better than mine and they get the job done. And ultimately, you are getting a limited lifetime warranty with this particular system. The 70 series muffler does feature their 16 gauge 409 grade stainless steel construction, is loaded with their traditional metal baffling, which is nice because there's no packing material or anything like that in this muffler. So you're not gonna have to worry about that sound changing over the years, blowing out, things like that. You are also looking at 409 grade stainless steel for the tubing, all mandrel bent, three inch is your diameter here, leading into and out of the 70 series muffler before exiting out the large four inch tip in the stock location. Now that tip itself is actually made from 304 grade stainless steel and that is a nice thing to point out because that's what you're gonna be seeing the most of and you shouldn't have to worry about any kind of corrosion on that. But let's switch gears and talk about the installation process here with Flowmasters Force 2 and as I pointed out at the very top of this video, depending on your wheelbase, you might have to trim up this lead pipe here but it's really not that bad. One cut, a sawzall and a fresh metal blade should take care of it rather quickly for you. And I do say some people because 75% of truck owners out there will not have to cut whatsoever and make this a simple bolt-on job. Nevertheless, guys, I am going strong one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter and maybe an hour or two from start to finish. As far as your tool list, well, you're looking at a basic socket set to do most of your work with this installation. In addition to that cutting tool, if you do need to trim, just make sure to reference those directions first and determine if and where you do need to cut. I also always like to recommend a little spray lubricant, not only to help you with the bolts, but also those rubber exhaust hangers, PB Blast, WD-40, whatever you have in the garage. It just makes sliding those hangers in and out a whole lot easier. Now, once it is time to start wrenching, simply loosen up that forward-most clamp to help you remove the factory exhaust system first. Once the clamp is loosened, go ahead and slide the exhaust off the factory hangers and then drop it down off the F-150, working its way around the rear axle. Just be careful, guys, this thing is all one piece can be a little tricky to maneuver around by yourself. Once that is out of the way, you can get to work hanging the new Flowmaster system in reverse order. Of course, make your cut first before hanging the system if you do need to trim up that pipe. 
Once everything is trimmed, you're ready to rock and roll. Go ahead and hang the system starting from front to back, but save your final tighten up to the very end. This way you can just make sure the system is hanging nicely. There's no interference or rubbing anywhere underneath the truck. And then once you have everything where you'd like, go ahead and torque down those clamps using your socket set or your impact gun and your installation is complete. So wrapping this thing up guys, the Force 2 is a great way to get that iconic Flowmaster rumble on your V8 powered F-150, but without setting off every alarm in your neighborhood or driving you and the family crazy on long trips. So that is my review of the Flowmaster Force 2, which you can grab right here at americantrucks.com.